hello everybody welcome to the next cell tutorial today i am going to show how to install webmin on OpenSUSE 42.1 webmin is one of the control panel based tool let me see how to install this on OpenSUSE for that first you should install the apache package press enter now the apache package is installed Next time I'm going to install the OpenSSL package by using following commands. Run this command to install OpenSSL, press enter. Now the OpenSSL package is installed. Now the OpenSSL package is installed. Next time I'm going to install the Perl script related packages. Run this command to install the Perl script related package, press enter. Now the dependency package of uh, Perl is installed successfully. Next step, I am going to download the webmin control panel packages. I am going to download the webmin package by using wget press enter. Now the webmin package is downloaded successfully. Next, I am going to install the webmin package by using rpm command because the package of webmin is based on rpm. Press enter to continue. Here the webmin package is installed successfully. Now open your browser, enter your server IP or host name with the port number 10,000 to log in the webmin. The default username is root and password is your root password. After entering your server IP and the port number, press enter. This webmin control panel is based on HTTPS secure. So click I understand the risk and click add exception. Click confirm security exception. Here the login terminal of webmin is open. Now enter the username root and password is your root password. After enter the login credential, I click login option. Now we successfully logged into webmin. Now we successfully logged in into webmin control panel. This is the dashboard. In this front of the dashboard, it will be shows about your system information, about your host name, operating system version, and your memory details, processor detail. Everything it will be shown detailly. So this is the method to install webmin control panel in OpenSUSE Leap 42.1. In next video, we can see how to configure this webmin control panel option. Enjoy using this tutorial. Thank you for watching.